Hi again. This module will, will focus on descriptive links. In the past, we used to use a lot of click here, download, read more as the link itself. But many people who use screen readers are going to pull up a list of links as a way to help them navigate. And if everything says read more, click here, then they won't know where they're supposed to go to or where they're, where they're going to go. Um, in this case, we see 508 standards, click here. The best practice would be just to highlight the 508 standards and get rid of the click here. And in this instance, we have just an a HTTPS slash slash dub 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 Washington.edu. This link is not really a link, it's just a URL. So we're gonna go ahead and clean it, clean this up in HTML. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna copy this, which is the which is the URL. I'm gonna delete, and we're gonna put University of Washington, Washington Accessibility Guide. And that way, if you're using a screen reader, they'll know as soon as this link comes up that they will be going to the University of Washington Accessibility Guide. And same th thing here with the 508 standards. Go ahead and, and get rid of this. We're gonna copy this out, which is the 508 standards. We're gonna just delete the click here and highlight 508 standards and make this into the link. This is what you call descriptive linking. So when a screen reader user pulls up their list of all the URLs on the page or all the links on the page, they will they could they'll know where they're about to go to. This is a relatively simple fix, um, but I see it very often where I will see. Uh, download syllabus and the download will be highlighted. You could just put syllabus with the as the link. Everyone who's used the internet knows blue plus the underlying state means a hyperlink. So that's um, that's how you do this descriptive linking. Think about if you were to only see the link itself, what would you want to what would you want to know about that link? And where and in most cases you would just highlight the name of the site that you're going to go to. All right, so we're going to do the same thing in Microsoft Word. We pulled up our Hawaii document again, and here we see some links. Let's take a look at the bottom. I think I have some. Oh, plan your trip. Click here, and really, the click here uh, is going to Go Hawaii, which is the um, Go Hawaii, which is the uh, a travel site. So I'm going to go back to our document, and we're going to delete. We're going to replace this with Go. Hawaii, which is the name of the tourism um, industry website, it's called Go Hawaii. And they'll know, instead of click here, they'll say Go Hawaii, and they'll know right away that it's a, it's a link to uh, a website called Go Hawaii. All right, so that's what you call descriptive linking. It's, it's relatively simple, but it's important when people are uh, helping them navigate your web page.